Hello! This video explains to you what short time fasting under chemo is. So, what we will learn is short time fasting. What is short time fasting? Then, the effects on your body that are to be expected. The requirements you have to fulfill to do that. A real life example, what it looks like under chemo. And uh, answer the question whether it's appropriate for you or not. And last but not least, a field report. So, let's start. Now, first of all, what is short-term fasting? Short-term fasting is when you don't eat for two or three days and you drink a lot of water or tea. The idea of fasting during chemotherapy origins from a study on the Berlin Hospital Charité. In one of the studies, patients were conducted through chemotherapy that was given every third week. Second, effects to be expected on your body. There's only a handful of studies to chemotherapy, short-time fasting and cancer. They all come down, more or less, to the following conclusion, which I will quote right now. Clinical data and a small number of clinical studies suggest that repeated short-term fasting may reduce the side effects of chemotherapy, enhance quality of life and eventually slow down tumor progression. Furthermore, all studies state that we need more studies and bigger studies because the studies that I'm talking about, they are with 30 patients, with 40 patients, and we need more studies about this. So if you are a doctor and you need a study to make, why not this one, please? Requirements. First of all, body mass index. You must not be underweight. That means the body mass index... Oh. I'm missing. You can calculate your body mass index by the body mass and the square of your body height. The body mass is taken in ki kilogram and the height is taken in meters. And this must be greater than or equal to 18, no less. So, example, I weigh 62.5 kilogram and I divide it by 1.63 in a squared, and then I have 23.5, and this is greater than 18, so it's okay if I do fasting during chemotherapy. Second, you need the medical approval of your doctor. It means you go to your doctor and you tell her or him, I would like to do fasting under chemotherapy, and then you wait for him to answer. Hopefully he says yes, and then you can do your thing. Great. Many people will tell you that it is dangerous not to eat. They are afraid. They don't know really what's going on with you. They are afraid because you have cancer, etc. pp. Therefore, there is a third requirement, and that is you need to be high-flying and determined. So, three requirements. One, body mass index. Two, okay of your doctor. Third, be determined then you're good. Number four, real life example. So let's just assume that you have got chemo on Thursday. Then you don't eat for, 20, uh, for 72 hours. And here on Monday, I think you should eat at, at six o'clock. Oh, how do you say that? At six o'clock in the evening. Then you stop eating. Tuesday nothing, Wednesday nothing, and on Thursday nothing. And you're good. This is fasting before. And here, let's say you get it at 10 o'clock. So you're good after 10 o'clock eating something. And here you should eat something light. So you don't go and get a burger or a pizza with this much cheese. You just don't. You have a handful of rice and that's it. Five... Is short time fasting appropriate for you? So, and now it's your turn to decide do you want to lift your quality during chemotherapy? If yes, check your body mass index and consult your doctor, and then you're good to go. Last but not least, the field report. First of all, did I meet the requirements? My body mass index was 23.5, so I was very good. And I got the okay 
of my doctor. So I was good to go. Problem was that my EC cycle was not 21 days, three weeks. It was 14 days. So I decided I make a study of my own. I know my body, my body knows fasting. It's okay for me if I do it with 14 days, within 14 days. That's three days fasting within 14 days is definitely possible. I didn't lose that much weight, which is very good during chemotherapy. So that worked. Next thing is what did it do with my body? Um, during the EC cycle, I was lying in bed. So I got the EC on Thursday and I was lying in bed for three or four days after this. And I can't say that it lifted the quality of life. But on the other hand, I can't say I don't have a, a comparison because I always fasted and I can't tell you what it would have been like if I had not fasted. Um, what it changed in me was uh, my heart because I was a perfect chemo victim. I'm getting chemo, whining, whiny. And the fact that I could do something, the fact that I could do fasting, I was active was very good for my heart. So I can't be sure that it pushed up my quality of life, but I can be damn sure that it lifted my heart. And that is why I would always do it again, exactly in that way. With the ideas that I've just given to you, you can now go into internet and do some research for yourself and you can go to your doctor and ask him about short-term fasting. But before you switch off, you might just hold on for a minute because there's an additional information that I would love to give to you. After the EC cycle of four, I'm now on the Paclitaxel. And these are the 12 smaller donations. And somehow my body decided that he or she doesn't want to eat the day before the Paclitaxel. Um, I get uh, the chemo on Thursday, on a Wednesday, my body doesn't want to eat. Um, and I'm, if I don't do this, everything is all right. On Friday, I'm good to go with jogging and so on. Uh, two weeks ago, I forced myself to eat on Wednesday because I've got the right to eat, because I want to eat. Why shouldn't I eat? Everybody's eating. But the effect was that on Thursday after chemo, I was spent. On Friday, I couldn't lift my legs for nothing. Saturday was a bunch load of shit. And I decided, yes, I'm going to listen to my body and I won't eat on Wednesday now. And maybe somebody will make a study out of that. That would be great. And now let's come back to you. Now you've got all the information. Do some research, ask your doctor and you can switch me off.